CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronel Higg reporting here, and I am back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. All right, so let's get it on here, all right? Let's talk about Luis Ortiz and Eris Landy Laura, okay? Yeah, last night, they both fought on the same card. Two men who were considered great in their day, and that was only a few years ago. Shoot, for Luis Ortiz, it was only last year. I mean, it's what we've seen, all right? I'm going to start with Luis Ortiz because he his fight was on first. However, what we've seen from him, all right, that was not the same Luis Ortiz that fought Deontay Wilder last year. You know that. I know that. Luis Ortiz knows that. And guess who else knows that? Dillian White. And I would not be surprised if Dillian White was to tell Eddie Hearn to send that contract over to Luis Ortiz. He wants next, okay? Because of what we've seen last night, Luis Ortiz is done. He's finished, okay? I mean, the reason why he's sticking around in boxing, both Luis Ortiz and Eris Landy Laura, all right, is for the hope of a big payday, which is nothing wrong with it. I mean, they deserve it, okay? I mean, heck, Tyson Fury just got, or he was said to get one of the biggest paydays, you know, in his career. For his accomplishments and all, and Tyson Fury, well, he well deserve it. But so does Luis Ortiz and Eris Landy Laura. But the sad thing is, they're both out of their primes, okay? I mean, both last night, I mean, both last night, but last night, both fighters had showed their age, okay? Now, Luis Ortiz, he is stating a rematch, or he wants a rematch with uh, Deontay Wilder. We all say he deserves one, all right? But I'm going to say, nah, mm-mm, and he is food for Wilder. Wilder was seriously hurt, dude. However, if the money is right, Luis Ortiz should take the fight with Wilder, okay? If he's going to get, like, a million and some change or so, or two million, go ahead and take that fight. And retire. Go ahead, and sell off and, and sell off into the sunset. Okay? You made your money now, all right? I understand that, you know, he's fighting for his daughter, right? I mean, that's what both him and um Aaron Slane Delore are saying. I mean, they're both from the same country, both from the same background. They're both riding that hype, you know, about Cuban boxers. You know, like we all know how good they are in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? That Cuban background, you know what I mean? And that's what they're riding off of. That's what they're surviving off of, all right? But in actuality, you know, these dudes is, you know, they don't got it no more, right? And for Eris Landy Laura, if he was to retire, or no, matter of fact, if he was to rematch Brian Costano, uh, what's his name? Brian Costano, if he was to give that dude a rematch, Eris Landy Lore will surely lose. He will clearly lose. All right. Now, talking about the draw, all right, hmm, I, I could say it was fair. All right. And if you was going to give it to a winner, I would have went with Eris Landy Lore. And I'm going to tell you that in a second. Why? Now, in the beginning of the fight, okay. Brian Castano, yeah, he was putting on the pressure, but the majority of his punches were landing on Eris Landy Laura's gloves. And the same thing with Eris Landy Laura. Most of his punches was landing on Brian Castano's gloves, okay? But down the stretch, as we say like going in the later rounds, all right? I'm talking about maybe was it round 9, 10, 11? Yeah, Eris Landy Laura was punching with precision, okay? I mean, yes, he was still doing defense why Brian Castellano, Castano was letting off. But, you know, during that mix, Aaron Landy Laura will start timing him and he'll start counter punching. And, you know, he'll hit him with the one, two, a flush shot. And he will knock Brian Castano off balance. Plus, he, he was snapping his head back. So with that right there, although he wasn't like as busy as Brian Castano in the later rounds, his punches were more accurate. They were more crisp. So that's why I gave the later rounds to Eris Landy Laura. All right. That's why I said he should have won the fight if they would have gave either fighter, you know, the fight. Okay. 
Now, for the judge that gave the fight to Brian Castano, you know, they said he won the fight. That judge is probably looking at the pressure and that uh, high activity that Brian Castano was putting on Eris Landy Lord. Okay, maybe that's why, you know, he gave the fight to Castano. Now, I'm going to be frank with you here. It was uh, asked if Eris Landy Lord sh should retire. I'm going to say yes, I agree, after what I seen last night. But I don't know his financial state. I don't know what type of financial state he's in. Like I said, him, uh, Eris Landy Lord, Eris Landy Lord and Luis Ortiz, <laughs> Ortiz is, you know, like I said, they're fighting for their family. You know, they're fighting for, you know, to have a better life here in the United States. You know, they both, you know, escape the... Uh, the poverties and whatever is going on in Cuba, okay? They're not there no more. They want to be far from that here in the United States, okay? They don't want to live that, you know, same life they lived in Cuba, which I don't think they will, you know what I'm saying? I mean, is this even uh, the harshest ghettos in America, I don't think it's even bad as what's going on in Cuba. You know, I mean, like, you don't see too many Americans who live in the ghetto running to another country. You see them run into another city, maybe, or out in the suburbs. Yeah, but actually not another country. You know what I'm saying? So it, it must be that bad in Cuba that people will risk their lives, okay? Floating over shark infested waters with their families, okay? Young babies, some of them be doing, okay? So it, it must be rough, all right? And like I said, they both are trying to escape that ugly scene that they grew up in in Cuba so if Eris Angelor back with him if he was to rematch Brian Costano Eris Angelor will lose that fight okay he is not the same fighter he was before you know this I know this we all do okay and for Luis Ortiz I hope that he retire if he takes on um, Dillian White or either Anthony Joshua, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if either one of them two was to call him out now, especially after what we seen last night. Okay, he's best to make sure that the pay is right. And Eddie Hearn should give him at least two million, three million. You know, hell, he offered Wilder fifteen million. You know, I'm pretty sure the, uh, Luis Ortiz wouldn't, you know, be be mad if they was give him five, six million. You know. Yeah, he could take that off and he could take that money and sell off into the sunset. OK, he has nothing more really to worry about because, hey, with that money, he can do a lot with starting new businesses and all. So anyways, that's my take on this, this is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next one.